How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Toy Table. I am your host Steve and I hope everybody's having a good weekend out there in these kind of weird and odd times we are living in. But this is going to be your 2003 race for the quarter century of Hot Wheels mainline racing brought to you by the Toy Table. Okay, after the 2002 race we have eight races in the books and some of the scores are starting to take shape and players are really uh, establishing some nice scores out there. We had quite a few guys riding that Charger RT to the second win in, in a row for a Charger RT, including Hot Wheels Calgary. He's at 38 points. Michael Duzinski, he has another 18 points on to his score, and he's got 26. Edgar's got 38 because it was 18 points. Uh, Matchbox Man, he's on the board with 18 points. Weber's Mile High Cards, he's on the board again. And he's got 22 GNR Adventures Diecast Racing, a former leader with 29. He needs uh, some more points here. He'll, he'll get some. And then we got uh, Hot Wheels Calgary, our leader, with another 18 points onto a score 44. And a big shout out uh, to the Worm. No, he, he, he laid off the Charger RT, as he said. I thought he got points, but he did not. Bales is at 22 there. Anyways, let's get over to uh, today's match. The 2003, you guys each had two picks in for 12 points. Fairly even across the board except the Buick Wildcat. He, she, he, she, whatever you want to call a car, got 15 picks on it. Meanwhile, the C7 Callaway, Callaway C7, zero point or zero picks. Well, we're going to rip and race it anyways. And across the line here. Six pit picks on the GTO, a few on the Shark Cruiser. Anyways, with that, let's get to your news for 2003. Well, during the 2003 calendar year, the WWE or WWF, I think then, hey, Bales, quit. That's Bales. Come on, bud. Move. Had three heavyweight champs, or well, two heavyweight champs in Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, became the California governor. Tampa wins the Super Bowl. I think we're reading two different websites there for the time. Florida beat the New York Yankees for the World Series. New Jersey beat Anaheim for the Cup. Serena Williams beat Venus Williams at Wimbledon. Roger Federer won the men's that year. Finding Nemo was a new movie. Uh, Another Lord of the Rings movie came out. Nora Jones dominated the Grammys. Pirates of the Caribbean, Seabiscuit. Uh, the Da Vinci Code, the book by Dan Brown came out. And I guess this is what really made me kind of feel old or how time flies. But uh, 2000 year, 2003 was the year that Johnny Cash died. Catherine Hepburn, Bob Hope, and John Ritter from Three's Company. That really made me feel kind of old. And also Fred Rogers died, our friend from the neighborhood, who just had a movie come out just recently. Okay, so let's head over to the track, guys. Bales is here. He might be around to make a pick. And there's our cars. I'm going to have my pleasure and open them, and let's get to racing. All right, good luck, boys. 12 points is up for grabs for the winners. Here are your first round matchups. And make sure you stick around to the end of the show so you can see tomorrow's cars to choose for our 2004 uh, race. And it's a big one, 24 points on the line for the win. And let's get to the racing. We're gonna start with the Callaway C7. They're just totally randomly opened up and put on the table as I open them up into pairs. All right, same rules apply. Down the track, if it's a close one, we're gonna switch lanes. If not, we'll move on. And if it's one, one, we go up the middle. One, two, three, go. And the Callaway C7. Winner, lane six. Opens up the show with a big win here. We're gonna give the Celica another chance. See whether he can knock the rust off those tires. It's been sitting in the package a long time. One, two, three, go. And the Toyota Celica just doesn't have it. As the Callaway is gonna be our first 
racer off into the next round. Put him up there. Yeah, let's go up this way this time. We got the Mercedes versus the quarter mile coupe. And we are set for racing. One, two, three, go. Looks like it's going to be the Mercedes. So far, this class of car seems to be pretty slow. One, two, three, go. And Mercedes is going to take the victory easily there. Dis disappointment in the quarter mile coupe camp. Let's move on to this GTO and the Zodic. A few late picks on that Zodic. And one, two, three, go. That's a little faster pace there that the GTO set there. One nothing, GTO over the Zodic. And one, two, three, go. Lane six is the winner there. And that's the GTO, GTO, the GTO. I don't think I took the GTO, but I do like them. Okay, Buick Wildcat, 15 picks. We'll put them up against the Gold Shark. On three, one, two, three, go. And down they go, and it's a win for the Buick Wildcat. Probably about a car link there. On three, one, two, three, go. Pretty even to the flat stretch. It does look like that lean one is a little bit faster. This is a shark. Didn't lose by a lot there. That's going to be a noted car, even though it's unfortunately out in the first round. We'll see the GTO and the Buick Wildcat in this next round. Final run for the Twang Thang here. No longer make that casting as of the, that one. We'll put them up against the El Camino. One, two, three, go. It doesn't look like it's going to be a victory song for the twang thing. See El Camino up one nothing. Twang thing, he's going to lead. Need a little bit of a miracle. One, two, three, go. Can he pull a hit? Can he get a hit off? No, it's the El Camino. And that's the final raise for the twang thing. Pretty cool, Clarish. If they made them again today, I'd buy them. I'd buy them all. All right, we got Flight 3 versus the Panos GTR or something. I love that color. One, two, three, go. And it's going to be the Flight 3. It's the Panos. Wiggles down the track. Losing precious speed. The only one, only one downhill section in this track. Flight three, looking to stick to the ground on this one. One, two, three, go. And pretty easy there. All right. So we got a pretty good chance here. I think someone's going to get some points. It's the only house car with no points is that Callaway C7. We may as well pull those guys off the bench here, put them up in the 
starting gate. And winner goes to the next round. One, two, three, go. And it's the Callaway. I don't even think I have to race this one again. Well, these were the cars that were left over for me. And after several, several trips to the flea markets, 2003, one, two, three, go. And that's a C Callaway C7. Knocking off the Mercedes. Next up. Whoops. Buick GTO. Good luck, boys. One, two, three, go. Good clean start. Then it's GTO on the faster lane, lane one. I think this would be a good overtime. One, two, three, go. Buick won by a little bit more there. Let's see how they do. Right here. One, two, three, go. CTO hits the pavement first, but it's the Buick Wildcat handling the track a little bit, pushing the GTO into the wall. And the Buick moving on. To the next round. I suppose there's your final four, but not really. We're gonna get a final three here. Flight three versus the El Camino. One, two, three, go. El Camino. That's a contender right there, guys. He's pretty quick, pretty solid. One, two, three, go. Flight three came back a little bit there. But not enough. I guess that will put him in the final. <laughs> it's weird how 12 works out. Okay, Cowley C7 versus the Buick. One, two, three, go. Looks like it's gonna be the Buick. Tensions building here. Buick fans looking to see their Buick get to the final. One, two, three, go. But no, he's going to have to do overtime to get there. Callaway C7 forces overtime. Says, no, no, not so quick. Major upset. No one picked the Callaway. Everybody picked the Buick. One, two, three, go. Buick gets out to a good start there. And they... Take their separate ways, but the Buick with the more open speed there finds the clean air and beats the Callaway. Okay, El Camino Buick in our final winner just gets 12 points, no second place points in this one. One, two, three, go. Pretty even. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's uh, 
El Camino. He could. What? What's, what? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Total brain fart. What happened there? Let's hope that same thing happens again. We're going to redo this. I was going to say some clever thing, but it totally stopped making sense in my head. One, two, three, go. Okay, lane one. Al Camino wasn't too far behind there. Okay. Buick, Buick needs the win here for 12 points. One, two, three, go. No! Uh, Al Camino forces overtime in the final. Are they going to keep it clean? Are they going to rub each other out? Will they each make it? Pretty even cars here. One, two, three, go. Oh, it's the El Camino there. That was the El Camino pulling up the upset. They were neck and neck the whole way, but my my eye saw this guy, the El Camino, take the win for 12 points. Sorry, very good guess, guys, on the Buick. But for now, until more photo evidence comes in, we are going to go with the El Camino. All right, guys, I got the other cars all set up here. Let's have a look at them. All right, guys, until ver more fit footage comes in, we're going to take the El Camino as the winner there for the 12 points. So congrats, Keenan or Keenan. Adriel Mendoza, Jackie Stewart, 12 points, and HW Road Beasts with 12 points getting stacked onto your scores. Sorry, Buick Wildcat fans. I will have another look at it when I post the video and we watch it live together. Maybe you guys can help me out on that last race. It can easily be switched. Nothing that is etched in stone, but I thought that El Camino put that little final push in there and took the victory away from you guys all right on to the 2004 cars 24 cars so pick three it's going to be in the title pick three i guess i don't have to move these beautiful cars they're all here waiting to see what you guys can pick and it's funny it's a lot of fantasy cars and you think you have a lot of cars when you're collecting all these things and then when you sort them out you're like man i really only have maybe 30 or 28 of these things and some of them you know aren't really cool and you just want to keep them yourselves anyways let's get to the cars oh i'm sorry guys it's going to be a lot of cars we got hooligan metal base plastic sides there We got the Corvette tuned. Now pay attention to that because there is another 63 Corvette in this. It's the 63 Corvette tuned gray you can put also, um, but there is another 63 Corvette in this round. 24 points for the win, and we'll do six points for second place. Okay, guys, three, pi three picks. Solaire CX-4. Plastic base. We've seen this one a few times. I'm not sure whether it's going to be the fastest. We'll see. We got another speed blaster. We've seen it before, but in another year. Next up, we got the Toyota Supra. You don't have to put tuned, but it, it is part of the tuned collection. We got Surf Crate, metal base there, open tires, pretty cool design on the top. Next up is Shredded, thin body design, open tires, open roof there, molded side. Here's that other Corvette, so this is just going to be your 63 Corvette, you can say USA Corvette I guess. 
black Corvette. The what for two? Fair amount of first editions. This is a metal base here. Fair amount of first editions in this uh, race coming up tomorrow, guys. It'll be a little bit of a longer show because it is 24 cars. We have the Toyota MR2 tuned. A couple of Toyotas now. Toyota MR2 and the other one was something else. We have the Hummer H2 Blings. Remember guys, you can pick three cars. And we got the Pontiac Rages. I think it did pretty good in this last uh, time out on the track, but not a winner. We have another tuned, and this one is the Mistibushi Pangiero Evolution. The Mistibushi Evolution then, because I'm not sure how to say it. We have another tune, and it's the 360 Modena. Adriel Modena. I can imagine he might pick that one. We got another quarter mile. Very disappointing car out of the package today in today's race. I said I wasn't going to stray anybody from picking anything, but who knows? Really cool design on top. We got the Ford 1932 metal base. <coughs> Seems a little bigger than the Victoria 1932 that we raced the other day. F Racer first edition from 2004. 16 Angels metal base. Off track metal base. We got brutalistic, brutalistic. I think that's just plastic down there and another open wheel design. The Lotus Sport Elise, Elise. And three more guys. We got the super modified. Cool one. And last but not least, we got the Lucky Charms 8 crate. Ken saw this one. I'm hoping, or I think he hopes it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't win and um, yeah anyways those are your cars uh, want to see them again Lock some more time uh, oh um, I guess uh, everything's good around here another kind of cr crappy day weather wise really cold kind of windy here in the, the Niagara Peninsula area so that's kind of a bummer not able to really go outside and, and burn some of Ken's energy that he has. Uh, tomorrow's race is going to be big. I was going to say. I don't know. Oh, I got to check to see again. Make sure that El Camino won. But congrats on the three that picked the El Camino. You guys got 12 points. And further your, your points. There's something else I was going to say, guys. I'm not sure. Oh, let me let me know, guys, in the comments if you guys are still here. Um, if, if you guys are interested, it's going to be very low quality, but uh, I can live stream on my laptop and I'm thinking of doing some uh, Mustang rip and racing alive sometime this week and uh, maybe let me let me know when you guys when, when's a good time to go alive for, for the majority of my, the, the people that can watch. Not sure everybody's schedule, but I'm just going to kind of open up a car as people, this is my idea anyways, as people kind of show up, I'm going to just rip or, or pull a car from many 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 mustangs that we have and we're going to race it and it'll be just kind of one and done or two and done and then you'll be the champ and hopefully someone else will show up looking for a car looking for a ride and we'll rip it and we'll see how long someone can be king of the hill on a mustangs alive low quality tournament 
Anyways, guys, until next time, until the 2004 race, thank you so much for watching this one and getting your picks in. We are nine cars into this over 25 years of Hot Wheels mainlines. Anyways, until next time, keep those tires pumped and racing.